All right. So here's the news. And I, I, uh, I asked James before the show started if he was a Gears of War fan. And he said, yes, sir. And I said, okay, well, did you hear today's news? And he said, no. So uh, I'm going to tell you what happened today. And you're going to get James' first reaction. And then we're going to analyze it and um, all that stuff. And it is big news. It's really exciting. Um, and sorry to homeboy Jedi who can't be here to discuss it with us. Because he's also a really big Gears fan. Oh, snap. So the official news is it just happened today. Netflix officially announced that they're making both a live action Gears of War movie and an animated series. Um, so yeah, a two Ooh. Gears of War projects and they're working directly with the coalition, the, you know, the developer of gears since Epic is no longer in control of it, um, to make these two things. So what do you think? I'm, I'm pretty psyched. Now the the full live action experience, I'm I'm kind of skeptical on. Is there like Me a too. is there a guest? I mean a star list that's that's on signed on. No, and it is a movie. It's not a series. Um, but everybody, this is this is what gets fun. And you and I can sit here and play this game. And I'm <laughs> I actually want to play this game. Is that's what everybody's talking about? Is who do you want to cast? Who's gonna be cast? Because uh, Dave Batista has been connected to this project oh, forever and basically oh. asked to play Marcus and he's in gears five as a Marcus Phoenix skin, like his actual, <sighs> you know, likeness. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Batista, definitely Marcus. Oh my God. <laughs> what a perfect. Oh, that would be awesome. Like I'd be on board for watching. That. I don't know who could be. I'm not even like a Batista like fan. I have nothing like for, I'm not even for or against him, but I can't, really conceive of anybody better like i i just can't i'm i'm sitting here racking my brain and who else could you get you know like you, you, marcus is gonna have to be a celebrity you would think the other people you could probably oh, cast yeah. the lesser known uh actors or actresses but i feel like marcus has got to be i i don't know who else could do it i can't think of anybody no and batista played a similar kind of role in uh army of the dead i don't know if you saw that recent oh uh, yes Netflix i did movie. and it sucked <laughs> <laughs> but you have to admit that's a hot take but yeah you have to admit <laughs> it that it was uh, like an hour too long <laughs> yeah the ending fell flat for me and yeah. his character of just being that dad on the path of redemption and stuff that's like so marcus that's so yeah, marcus yeah. phoenix right there so like he already has that. Plus, I don't know, he has that bulky build. Like they they need bulky people to play, you know, the cog warriors. They yeah. they need all that. And despite Man. despite the fact that I mean he's a star, no doubt. Like he, you know, he's in he's in the MCU, you know. Like I have a feeling that he's still not like and I don't mean this in any disrespect, like I have a feeling you could get him for like a fair price. He's he's not like what I would call like you know he's a big star, but I'm not saying he's not gonna break your bank. I don't think you know what I mean. Like you could cast him, yeah. it, it, but if you're not casting Dwayne Johnson, right, or like you know Chris Pine or Leonardo DiCaprio or something like that, where you're gonna pay <laughs> half your budget to you know if you get Dave Bautista, sure he'll get paid, but I think it'll be a little more reasonable. And I, again, I don't mean that as any disrespect. No, there there's certain star levels and pay rates for those levels that they're at. And while he has been in some big things, he, has he been the main focus? No, the the Netflix movie that zombie film did actually get some pretty good hits, but was it because yeah. of him or just because of the director and right. it being a previous zombie film that fans were already Jack Snyder ready to as see Jade I calls yeah. him. Yeah. He calls him Jack instead of Zach. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay i'm about to remember that <laughs> but what do you but think about the others like the other because you've got i mean here's here's something else too and we could this is something else to consider is so it's going to be an animated series and it's going to be a movie i would speculate that you know one is going to be probably the gears origin story right like gears of war one most likely i'm assuming but the oh yeah but then the animated series, you know, what's that going to be? Because I'm assuming they're not going to do a movie and a series based on the exact same story. You know, like I'm assuming they'll be different. I would say they probably couldn't reprise uh, the voice actors for the original run of the series. Like that would be money. Like those That'd voice actors. 
yeah, they're established and, and they made money, but like we already know the ending of some of those major characters one through three of Gears of War in particular. Like, how would they bring those back? What what would they do? Would it be a in between this game and this game? Because I like that's rough. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I I think the movie you probably do Gears One, just like straight up adaption. Yeah, um, origin the series, story, all that. There's, I think there's two different things that they could do with it. They could, you know, there's a lot of people who've wanted to do like the Gears prequel, like the Pendulum Wars, I think it's called, back when Marcus and all those guys were like, the, the, the locusts weren't even a thing yet. It was just, you know, like human versus human. That's where like, you know, the cog and stuff came to be and how, how Marcus yeah. got imprisoned like before Gears started. Um, but I, I also have it in my head and I don't know if they will be bold enough to do this, but so a series that would lay the groundwork for the actual next Gears of War game to kind of bring mm. uh, something in there to kind of flesh out some more of the current characters that we're dealing with. Um, I don't think you could just retell like Gears 4 and 5. I think you might have to, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe introduce some new characters that are going to be in Gears 6 or something. I don't know. Um, just it's got to be something different, though. It's not going to be. Why, why do an animated series just to retell the first Gears? You know what I'm saying? I'm right there with you because the fact of the matter is is that those stories were fleshed out really good in the games anyways. Yeah. We got from one game's ending to the other game's beginning, we got to hear about you know what these characters were up to in between these events and these eras. And Gears 4 and 5, you know, obviously introduced new protagonists and everything mm -hmm. for that. They did so well on that, too. It would be really, really redundant. But I guess mm -hmm. Hollywood often doesn't care about that because <laughs> That's they're true. catering to people who've never heard of these properties or true. only in passing. So it'd be super easy for them to disconnect from the fan base like they often do mm -hmm. not always but right. they, they look do at the halo often show. enough yeah which, yeah exactly that's what i i'm super hopeful for this because i think gears is perfect for for uh adaption into other mediums um mm -hmm. but a lot of people are scared of netflix in general but i would argue that net, some of netflix's best programming on the whole service has been their video game adaptions when you talk about arcane castlevania cyberpunk uh, that's three of their top 50 shows or or you know on the whole platform you know so now witcher what's your thoughts like th does that follow witcher's that not bad games? yeah witcher i don't think witcher's like uh it could be a top 50 thing on this plat on netflix for sure i don't think witcher is like untouchable like you know arcane to me is like the untouchable like that's like the gold standard but um i, I think witcher's pretty solid for sure i would i wouldn't knock there's it's got some quirks and stuff but it's high quality big budget did a good job with it and they cast you know a big name star too uh, which gives me hope that we will get like you know a big name star in uh in gears yeah i hope that like uh, going back to the animated series, it would be such a smart move if since the coalition is claiming to have a lot of interaction with the process of these two uh, different types of medium they're making, mm -hmm. it would be such a smart move if they did somehow prequel up the next Gears installment with this show. Like That'd give us great. a run of characters and, you know, the game could come much later after we see the adventures because they're going to want to break this up in the multi seasons if it sells yeah. good. Yeah. So either way, it'd be a real smart marketing move to give us new characters because as players, sometimes we do get exhausted of the same characters. A lot of people yeah. are a mixed bag on Marcus's kid, you know, and yeah. everything like that. And Kate. And, a lot of people yeah. don't like Kate either. Which I, I liked think it, Kate. I think it's kind of unfair, to be honest. Yeah. I, I think that I think the Kate hate is a lot of. Yeah, stupid, I'm going to be a little people, biased to be honest. there. <laughs> It really is because I snoozed on four. Like I can't remember too many moments from that game, but yeah. five Kate's story was full force in that one. She was, was more of the main yeah. focus. Yeah. She was such a good character. Her, the whole thing with her mom, it's just an amazing arc. And 
I really, really hope that we actually get to see more of her in the future. Now, if they actually did a show and somehow figured out a way for there to be a little bit of a Kate telling or another strong female, because Gears has shown they can do a strong female as the, as the badass protagonist that you yeah. want to play as. So, like, they could run it off that way, too. Gears that would badass, be really period. Cool. <laughs> yeah that's just, there's nothing they can't make badass basically like even their scientists holy crap their yeah. scientists are just as big and bulky <laughs> um so i want to put you on the spot here let's uh let's do a, a, a let's do gears of war characters so we did marcus you know who'd like to see mm-hmm. is marcus or who's likely um let's do some other gears characters your dream casting so Oh. Dom for sure. Dom's really tough, I think, and I, I think Dom's the perfect role for somebody new because it's a pretty nuanced role. They're, they're, Dom's the more emotional character of the group. So, um, I know the the mm. creator of Gears of War tweeted today that he wants to see, you know, a la- Latino actor cast as Dom, which I'm good with that. Oh yeah, most definitely. Anybody come to mind for you? Oh, right off the bat. Ugh. It's tough, man, like you I'm said, thinking. too, because they, they kind of got to be like big, big dudes. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, for all the, the different types of people out there, it's like the actors that could play Dom, uh, they don't have the body build. Right. And right. Like, where would you go with that? And uh, but. To be realistic, in as far as a movie goes, the body types are going to change. They're probably going to bulk up a little bit with the armor. So could they get away with it? But Dom has to be this badass, you know, take all prisoners kind of a uh, guy, Funny, and also emotional. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna put a name in there for Dom though, because I really liked him. Uh, I think that their show is still running, but uh, God, I wish I could remember the actor's name, but he uh, plays. Uh, Angel on uh Mayans MC, and on like what? he would be uh Mayans MC is a uh, uh Sons of Anarchy branch off of the Mayan oh, Motorcycle okay. Club. Okay, yeah, and like they all have some pretty big dudes on there. Mm-hmm. But the guy who plays uh Angel, who's uh one of the second main characters, he's the brother to the main character. He's a uh, he's tall, he's bulky, he's got this uh. Heart of gold underneath the mm-hmm. armor of just a, a badass gangster motorcycle uh, biker guy. Okay. And he would be a good. Let me see if I can get the. Let me let me get let me get his name up because we, we have to talk about him. He's he's honestly legit. Uh, Clayton Cardenas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like we're gonna. He could have the Dom look right away. He could yeah. bulk up. He's got. <laughs> he's already got the shoulder length. I'm gonna. Put that in the DM group there for so, you. So now, uh, my favorite two, and the two that <laughs> it's Baird, that leaves us with Baird and Cole, and uh, potentially the two, <laughs> the funniest characters of the group. Um, okay. But they're, they are important to the COG um, or to the squad, to, to Delta Squad. So what, who, who you got? I've seen some speculation and I got some of my own, but what do you, what do you think? Oh my God. Uh, I mean, can you pay Ryan Reynolds to be Baird? That's what I can, saw. Can, <laughs> That's the speculation I him? said. Hey, yeah. you know what my name is? What? It's Ryan Reynolds. And uh, Baird is my favorite character. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. My actual name is Ryan Reynolds. Oh I'm not even God. kidding. That's dope. And, uh, Baird's my favorite character. So Netflix, I'll do it for a fraction of the price of that guy. <laughs> but I, I, I saw Ryan Reynolds as well. That's what. That's the one that I saw. Was there another one for Baird that people threw out? Because like, from the get go and seeing him Chris rise Pratt, to his... I saw. <laughs> that's mm. a, that's a, that's a joke. Uh, don't cast, please, for the love of God, do not cast Chris Pratt in the Gears of War movie. I mean, they could they could probably get him, which is uh, the thing. <laughs> Chris Pratt. Well, since he does like any movie that gets thrown at him, yeah, probably. I mean, he's done all that stuff for Amazon Prime, so. Yeah, exactly. That Tomorrow War movie or whatever is like halfway Gears of War. Is that what it was called? You know, Tomorrow I haven't War? seen it. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. Oh, <laughs> no. man. <laughs> what you got Shoot. for Cole? God, it's Cole. There's so many. Uh... 
Well, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to him, there, there, there's so many actors. Uh, you know, I always thought if they ever did one, because I talked with amongst friends with this, there was an actor. His name is uh, Shamar Moore. Is that the and dude he, off uh, of uh, my wife watches that show? Or he used to be on, what is it? That crime show. He was on Criminal Minds. Yes, my wife. And then he it. did a badass uh, show. I believe it's uh, FBI SWAT. He's on. Does SWAT. he have the comedy yeah. chops though? Because Cole's uh, character is hilarious. He was kind of corny on the show on Criminal Minds, but the way he interacted with one particular character, he was actually really relaxed and not as reserved as he would be as a officer. But you know, he has the body for build for it. He, oh yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah, he is a big dude. Uh, Terry Crews. I don't think you could go <laughs> wrong, dude. He's got the build. He's got the. He's got the build. He's got the muscles. He's got the comedy. He's got the in-your-face style. I'm Terry. Do it up. God, just give Terry his yogurt, and you're good to go. God, yes. The yogurt. <laughs> yeah, that was but, his but, thing on Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh. <laughs> uh. Shamar yeah, with the was... lady that plays Penelope, which he says. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which he knows. All right. What's up? There we go. <laughs> Penelope can be Anya. <laughs> uh, oh, I do wonder, though, because there's been a lot of celebrities that have been attached to Gears, even like in like the multiplayer. Like Xavier Woods, the wrestler, is in the game. Ice-T, you remember, played a character. Yeah. Um, didn't, uh, didn't Drake, wasn't Drake in there at one point, I think? I don't, a, know that, I don't know if that, that one happened. I feel like that was a rumor at one point. I mean, Ice T though, even if it was for like a cameo, it would be sick. Like that, <laughs> that would bring viewers in for sure. Like Ice T's in an definitely. episode of Gears of War, that'd be awesome. You know, I almost wore my Gears of War shirt tonight. I did yesterday because <laughs> I have the one that has the New Day on it, like you mentioned, Xavier Woods and everything. Because mm. I, I bought that limited run shirt, and I wish I bought two more because you can't find it anywhere now. Oh. Yeah. 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 That yeah, would be so I hope it's good. I hope both of them know, are so good. Big E, he could be Cole. I mean, he's got the body build. He's funny. He's he's yeah, a pretty I, good personality. I think that role's perfect for somebody who wants to make the transition from professional wrestling to acting. It's like a cuz Cole is like he's so over the top that you don't need like the finesse acting yeah. yet you know what i mean like it, it, you, you need to have you need to have charisma basically and that that's charisma and muscles and you're good like you're you're in that's the big thing is that they can actually bring in one to two major names for this production and then open up the floor for maybe some b-listers up and rising yeah. stars people yeah. that can take these characters that believe in them Right. And do something really special, especially for a film, because then yeah. you never know. That could get installments. That could yeah. cost so many good things to snowball from there. I think I think that could be the start of somebody's career, a uh, really good start of somebody's career for sure. If you come into a role like this for a franchise that already has so many really uh, passionate fans and you hit it out of the park as, you know, one of those supporting roles that like it's a supporting role, but it, you, you want it to be perfect, like a Cole or like a Baird or even dare I say Dom, but Dom, Dom Dom's a kind of a main character. He he's in that weird space between, you know, he's not the protagonist, but he's a very important to the story. You know, if you're yeah. a younger younger actor and you get uh get one of those roles and you really nail it, like everybody who's a fan of Gears is gonna be like in love with you. You know, like that guy's awesome oh, yeah. and you know, get get yourself some fans. <clears throat> yeah, there there's so much room for growth in that. Like uh I don't mean to segue, but we were going to talk a little bit about God of War Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get into that? I want to get into that. I want to get into that. I also want to point out.